Could you stay for the night? Could you come over for the night? Are you busy for tonight? Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly, truly appreciated. Thank you so much besties and welcome back. You guys, today we are talking about some fragrances that are so uber, uber sexy. They are just so mouthwatering, so juicy, so tantalizing that they might even have you smelling like a snack. If you wanna hear more, please continue to watch. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dwelling. So if that sounds like something that you would want to be a part of, go ahead and stop what you're doing. Drop me your son of the day because you know I want to know, but don't stop there. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notification bells, that way you never miss a video over here, and go ahead and come over and really become a bestie and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, we are jumping into this video right now. Okay, so you guys, listen, I'm painting a picture, I'm telling a story. We are talking about one of my favorite things to talk about, sexy, date night, <laughs> love, all those good things, right? But here are some words that I want you to focus on during this video. Sweet, gourmand, succulent, juicy, dessert, chocolate, creamy, rich, vanilla, exotic, erogenous, addicting. I'm gonna stop right there. You get the picture, right? So those are the type of fragrances that we're going to be talking about today. In today's video, I will say this I'm only gonna cover a few notes I'm gonna be giving you some layering combos some tried and trues you guys I have been having a blast with these fragrances I have been killing my fragrance combos and I am here to share the tea with you because you know over here she doesn't get keep okay this combo here one of you recommended it to me I cannot remember who I'm sorry I did write it down however if you say squirrel I'm already distracted it was Kayali Vanilla 28. I always tell you guys, it's the brown sugar note in here for me. This is a beautiful vanilla, brown sugar, I should say, vanilla fragrance. Very gourmand, but I mixed it with, oh, my favorite. Eden Juicy Apple 01. I went to bed smelling like a snack and I woke up feeling like one. So if you need a fragrance combo, thank you so much for mentioning these to me. I would highly recommend trying these too. They are good, good. I move on. Oh, I also wanna make a mention to you guys. Come here, come in really close. Don't go spilling this tea with everybody. But there's gonna be another fragrance sale where it doesn't matter what tier you are, everyone will receive 20% off the fragrances at Sephora. I heard it, I heard it somewhere. Don't ask me where I heard it, cause I don't know, I don't remember, but I heard it. So it could be, it could be not, but I do remember this happening last year. And, and, I believe you can only use a coupon code once. Don't quote me on that. The more I find out, the more I'm gonna let you know. So that's why you need to be tuned in. Anyways, next fragrance. Another one that's really, really good, very sexy. Love this fragrance. I don't reach for it that much because it was too hot, but now we're hitting the cold weather. This is Jo Malone and this is Mirth and Tonka. This is a warm, spicy, lavender, tonka bean fragrance and it is good, good. Sexy, inviting, definitely more on the you know, you're not gonna get as decadent or as like gourmand vibes in my opinion, but it's definitely one that I mix with Kayali Vanilla 28, I move on. Another one, I have spoken about this ever since fall ha has approached or has come upon us. And it is like fall in a bottle, it's holiday season in a bottle, it's on everybody's list and this is Angel's Share. This is Cognac Tonka Bean and it is a beautiful, sexy, gourmand fragrance in my opinion, cinnamon. This right here, you cannot go wrong. It's it's gonna be moderate when it comes to longevity, you guys. I talk about this all the time. There are so many videos on my channel dedicated to this fragrance. I would highly recommend adding this to your collection if you like those type of fragrances. This is man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock this fragrance. Predominantly, my collection is a unisex fragrance. I feel people should wear what makes them happy. I move on. This is Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. This is Rum, Vanilla, Sandalwood, and Orange Blossom. This is another cozy, sexy date night. Let's get a room, spend the night. You ain't gotta go home. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just stay with me for the night. This is good, good. This is very, very, very sexy in my opinion. Um, I have the original one. See, yeah, this can just get it. This, this is good. This is where it resides. This is where the sexy, addicting, <laughs> tantalizing fragrances reside. They reside over here. And this one right here is really good. I do have Tom Ford Black Orchid, and that's another one with the cacao. Um, it's very polarizing though, so I didn't add it to this list. I'm gonna add it to another list. 
but that would be another one as well. It looks just like this one, but it's black. Same family, but this one to me is just a little bit more mass appealing, crowd pleasing, and that doesn't really say a lot because Tom fragrances are just not for everybody, but for me, he can get it. It's just good, good. I move on. This one here, I just have this, and this is all I need. This is Jazz Club by Replica, Pink Pepper, Rum, Absolute, and Tobacco. This is good. Now this I do reach for when we're going out. To me, I really like it to be cold. I also really like it to be where we're just gonna be sitting out, maybe like a lounge. I like to go out to like old Hollywood where the restaurants and the lounges are kind of dark and kind of mysterious looking and they have like the leather furniture and then they have like, you know, like somebody playing music over there and then you're out, you're dating, it's a vibe. This fragrance is more of a vibe fragrance to me. Like when I put it on, it's like, okay, what girl do I wanna be? Tonight I'm gonna be laid back, I'm just being the cut, you know, kind of low key, but definitely always doing the most, always, okay? She is the moment. But that's what this fragrance gives me. It's really good, I really thoroughly enjoy it. Like I said, I reach for it around this time of the year and it's sexy. It's so sexy. Again, another unisex fragrance. So guys, if you're watching, make your list because all of these you can rock too. I'll let you know the ones that are just a little bit really, really sweet and it might not be your liking. But other than that, add this to your list because it's good, good. I move on. Another one is by Sol de Janeiro and I have to pick up a full bottle because this is all I have left. And if you can see the dent there, it is real. This is pistachio, this is jasmine, and this is salted caramel. This is so good. I mix this with the uh, Bum Bum Cream, add it with the Bum 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 Cream, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I'll pop a picture. I also add it with the body spray. I'll pop a picture, it's more like a mist. And then I sleep in this. This is something that I can like chill in the house in. This isn't one that I like reach for when I'm going out, but you know how you have those evenings in the house and you're like, we're gonna make dinner or maybe we're gonna order in and we're just gonna sit back and chill. Or maybe you're just doing like a girl's day or self-care Sunday, a reset Sunday, whatever the case is. And you just wanna feel yourself. You don't wanna wear something too, you know, in your face, something too loud. Some of my fragrances can do the most and I'm just like not there. I'm just trying to chill. I'm just trying to catch like a real low key in the house kind of vibe. This fragrance can definitely fit the bill and this is So De Janeiro 62. This is the ED perfume. This is like the perfume. This is not the body splash. So this is the perfume. Everything that I'm mentioning today will be linked for you in the description box below. I move on. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And I put this in here, you guys, because I mix it with everything. I mix this, one of you recommended it. I don't remember who, but somebody recommended mixing Tom Ford Lost Cherry with Angel Shares. Girl, guy, you are absolutely correct. This is fire in a bottle. It's very sexy, it's very sensual, it's very snack, it's very, what you wanna do? <laughs> Let's turn all the way up. It's definitely one of those. And this is really good for wearing out. I wore this layering combo out and of course my fragrances were roaring. So this combo right here, try it, let me know your thoughts. And for you who recommend it, thank you. I'm sorry, I did not write the name down. I move on. This one here that came out by the House of Siage. Remember when I first got it, I was just like, oh my gosh, it just smells like, you know, whipped cream, like a wedding cake. Well, you guys, I found where to compartmentalize it. It is just that. It is creamy, it is vanilla, it is like, you know, like whipped cream. If you've ever been wedding cake shopping or wedding cake tasting or what have you, and you've seen like the Bavarian cream on top, this is what this smells like, but it's really, really good. It's so decadent to sleep in. It's so decadent to just like wear um, on its own, or you can mix it with any other fragrance to like sweeten it up. I've mixed it with um, the Minnie Mouse, and I'll talk about that one because that was another favorite. But this one right here is really good. The bottle is beautiful. I'm gonna say this about House of Seattle fragrances. They are always, always going on sale. So if you have your eyes on this, I would say even check right now, it might be on sale. This one's gonna have vanilla whipped cream. It has musk in it and brown sugar, but it is absolutely amazing. So I would say, check it out you might even find it up to 40 50 percent off i move on if you shop it make sure you use my link it helps out my channel and it definitely definitely helps me out so thank you another one oh my gosh i reached for this the other night you guys i have just been playing in my fragrances okay i've been getting my entire life this is my season for fragrances hot heavy sexy Juicy, mouth watering, gourmand, yes, all the things. This is Killian and this is Love Don't Be Shy, but this is extreme. This is absolutely phenomenal. This is just really, really good. A few of the notes in it orange blossom, marshmallow, vanilla, 
musk it also has like a really rich creamy note to me that can just get there and it holds you tight and never lets you go i spray this i go heavy i go in i will also say because i wear a lot of white whenever i'm spraying this and you are wearing a color instead of spraying it up close like this always put your fragrance back here if you're gonna wear a color and just mist it on like that so that way i guess this is my scent of the day hello um that way you don't get it a big stain on your blouse or your top or what have you always just hold it back at least you know a few feet away from you normally i'm like this but if i'm wearing a blouse that it might stain i'm definitely going to spray a few feet back that's just a tip this here is killian love don't be shy extreme and it is good good i move on i cannot get enough of it you guys the mini mouse that came out the vanilla marshmallow whipped cream caramel raspberry musk this right here is good. This is delicious. Look, I showed you the, the bottle, right? I mean, we are all here for the beautiful presentation by House of Siage. Uh, this was gifted and sent over in PR, but it doesn't negate the fact that I'm gonna still tell you the truth and the bottle's always gonna tell you the full story. So if you could see this here, that's where the that's where the dent is now you know if you follow me or the house of siage when this fragrance launched and it didn't it hasn't been out that long this fragrance it just you know what it is this fragrance makes me happy sexy but it makes me so happy it is like creamy it has a marshmallow note in there but something that brings it alive that makes me happy just as eden juicy apple or one is the fruity note in here. And here it would happen to be the apple, but in here it's the raspberry note. It really comes alive. It's very prominent when you first spray it, that initial spray, you get the raspberry note in there. And it's like, oh my gosh. But like I said, all the notes kind of intertwine at once. Even during the initial spray, they all just come alive at once. And then the dry down, they settle down. You get the musk, you get the vanilla. You guys, if you haven't tried this one, it's really good. And some of you are like, oh my gosh, Ray, I got it and I like it, but I like Mickey even more. And Mickey is a really good one too. I absolutely love that one, but that one gives me reminisce of Tom Ford uh, Soleil Blanc, um, the original one. That one gives me that one. It's more creamy, it's more coconut. It's very milky, but it's a beautiful fragrance. I tell you the truth, you cannot go wrong with either one. I believe this sold out. I have put it on the community page. It went on sale and I believe it sold out. So I'll definitely keep an eye out for it if it happens to come back in stock and when it goes back on sale. So that way you can get your hands on it. But check out the um, House of Siage's website. I do believe they still have little sample packs of both of them on there and they retail for $25. So if you wanna get your hands on it sooner, I would say check that out. I move on. This is by BDK. This is Velvet Tonka and this is almond, bourbon vanilla, tonka bean and tobacco. And this is another one that's really good. Now in my collection of my fragrances, I typically do not reach for this to wear out, but it is very, very, very inviting when I'm wearing it in the home or at home. Um, I have taken it to hotels with me, just decanted a little bit. And when we were just gonna stay in, like when we went to Napa, it was one that I can just put on and just, you know, be around and smell cozy and inviting, but it's not doing too much. So these are laid back, they are sexy. But this one here is not gonna be a beast and jump out in your face. It's very laid back to me. It's very warm. It's very right now appropriate. This kind of vibe gives me, imagine a baby. Um, like when I used to babysit my, my brother or my nieces or what have you. When you have a baby and you give them a nice bath and the room is kind of warm, you know, you don't want it to be too chilly in there for them. Then you would get them out, you would lotion them up, do all that. And then you would put that, I don't know, we used to put baby oil, we used to put uh, Johnson and Johnson's, that baby lotion, and it just smelled so good that you just wanted to hold them and swaddle them and just like you know be with them that's how I feel about this fragrance to me it's very powdery something in it is very powdery and that's where I get the whole baby because we would put powder on and do all the things and then you'd be like oh my god it felt like a teddy bear you know what I mean just something that you wanted to cuddle with and so this is definitely in my opinion a cuddling fragrance I do have a 20% off discount code with so avant-garde so if you want to take advantage of that I will definitely have that linked for you in the description box below again this is BDK and this is Velvet Tonka. I move on. Now see, that was cute, right? Cause I was in the house, we swaddled the baby, we was holding them close, yay! Okay, this one right here is not doing any of that. This one is take me out. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's get a room. <laughs> I 
I'm just saying. This is initials and this is side effect, okay? This is rum, tobacco, and cinnamon. This right here is sexy. This is good, good. You guys, I shared with you in a vlog. I don't know if you watched that vlog or not. If you're not watching the vlogs, watch them. A lot of times in the vlogs, I'm sharing a lot of fragrances. And this is one that I wore out on date night one night. And I, I hadn't wore it out, you know, I wore it in the house, I played with it, what have you, but I hadn't really wore it out, out. So this night I had beat the face, I had got dressed. You put this on, it was just giving a different girl. It was just definitely giving a different vibe. This is very sexy, it's very loud, it's very come hither. It's very man, woman, boy, child, human. It just can get it. It's very just like, it's hot, it's heavy, but still you've got the rum in there, you've got a little bit of the cinnamon, you've got the tobacco, so it's making it hot. This is something that you would wear to me when you wanna go out and you wanna be seen, you wanna be noticed, you wanna get some attention, your fragrance is gonna walk past somebody, they're gonna do a double, double, double take. This might even get you an excuse me miss, what's your name? Can I take you out tonight? Or could you stay for the night? Could you come over for the night? Are you busy for tonight? If you want that type of attention, this is the type of fragrance you wanna wear. If you wanna hold somebody's attention, captivate somebody's attention, you wanna reach for side effect, I move on. This next one is soft, but not really. It's got a little bit of a at the end of it, at the telltale end of it, but the initial is pretty. It's inviting. I picked this up last year. This is Vanilla Diorama. This has in it rum, cocoa, cardamom. It has sandalwood. It's a warm, spicy. It's got bourbon vanilla. It's got some patchouli. It's decadent. It's sexy. It's rich. It's creamy. All things that would have you smelling like a snack. It's very gourmand in my opinion. It's edible, something that you can think about that you would be like, oh, this is so good. This is good enough to eat. It's one of those type of fragrances. It definitely gives you a uh, sweet potato pie, um, some type of pie, some type of pie, something being baked. It's perfect for the holidays, I would say. It's perfect for right now. It's perfect if you wanted to just like wear this to a gathering. Like right now we're doing Thanksgiving. We'll probably have Friendsgiving. Some people have like, you know, where they just meet up with different parts of the family. This is one that you can put on that's not gonna clash with the food. This is one that you're gonna put on and still smell inviting. You know, I don't know if people are hugging people or not. I'm not a real big hugger. Like I can, another quick 2.5, I'm not a real big hugger. Like I don't know, it's just my personal space. Like I love you like cook food, but if I hug you, oh my gosh. If I hug you, it's like I really am feeling you or I've really, really missed you because I am just really like a germaphobe and I just be like, ooh. Let's just, let's just stay right here. But when you go in right now, this time where families and people and friends hug and greet one another, if somebody greeted you with this on, it's just warm and it's inviting and it just smells like, oh, I like a good hug. It's really good and it's sexy. I move on. You guys leave it in the comment section below. I guess that's a fun fact about me. Like, I I love you, I really do, but I'm, I'm not affectionate like that. Like, I, I'm affectionate with my guy, but, I'm not a real big hugger, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what that says about me. What is wrong with me? I have so many issues. Anyways, let me know down in the comment section. I wanna hear from you. Are you a big affectionate person? Not with your significant other. I'm saying like with friends. Don't tell me about your kids either. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, just are you a big hugger? You know, like some people are like, oh, I'm a hugger. And I'm like, oh my God. You touched me, oh my God, you know what I mean? Cause I'm just not that way. I know, I know, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. Take it all in, take it all in. But I wanna hear from you. Don't forget to drop me your scent of the day. Let me know if you're an affectionate person or if you're a hugger or not. And I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. If you like the vibe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, you guys. Do not forget to come over and say hi on Instagram. And I will see you beautiful besties in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, dwellings. Thanks for watching. Bye.